Okay, here's another type of virus. Uh, this might be the, a kind of virus, that, like a flu or a cold virus, that infects eukaryotes. Uh, bacteriophages, as seen previously, infect uh, bacteria. So here is a virus. Um, let's pretend it's uh, influenza or the flu. The general structure of a virus is in the middle here. Uh, we have either um, DNA or RNA or sometimes both. Um, sometimes it's double-stranded DNA or single-stranded DNA, single-stranded RNA or double-stranded RNA. The fact is in the center of the virus there is in here there's some kind of genetic material. Then on the surface uh, or on the outside of the genetic material we have a protein coat. So we have a protein coat that's here in yellow, this part. So we have our protein coat um, and then Sometimes outside of the protein coat is an envelope um, and a membrane envelope. And I think the pretty cool thing, like this green part here, that represents the envelope. And uh, it's oftentimes made from the cell membrane of its host. So let's pretend that the virus, um, it's a, a flu virus coming to infect me. <laughs> what it's going to do is the virus will take the... Uh, phospholipids and glycoproteins and um, and cell membrane proteins from one of my cells and it's put around its protein coat so that way um, my body kind of recognizes it almost so kind of interesting um, anyway let's go ahead and look at a general way that the um, virus uh, replicates so uh, one minute, so sorry. So here, what we can see at the top is if we have our virus, uh, what it's going to do is it's, um, you can see up here at the top, we have our, our envelope with our glycoproteins uh, that was derived from the host cell, which is kind of a trip. Uh, then the virus is going to enter in um, to the host cell. All viruses are kind of like um, parasites. They're obligate parasites almost where they uh, cannot reproduce on their own. They absolutely need a host cell to reproduce inside of. So once it is inside the host cell, so let's pretend um, that the, this virus in particular has RNA instead of DNA inside. So you can see here this red line represents the RNA. Now what will happen is the viral RNA will be inside the host cell and um, we can use that for messenger RNA and that messenger RNA will then be used during translation to make proteins. Now um, this is why they need a host, because viruses don't have their own ribosomes, yet the majority of their body is protein. So they have to get into a host to use the cell's ribosomes. Now here, this messenger RNA is going to build or be used during translation to make both glycoproteins and also capsid proteins. So what we see is that um, by like exocytosis, this little vesicle, vesicle with the glycoproteins are going to fuse with the cell membrane. And then over here, we had the proteins that were made during translation forming the new um, like protein coat of this virus. And then here we have the RNA that was made during transcription. And then um, what we get is a virus that's exiting by exocytosis uh, with glycoproteins on a membrane that was derived from the host cell along with um, a brand new RNA um, genetic material and a capsid fully functioning ready to go and infect another um, eukaryotic cell.